Good morning. She's a bit crisp this morning. Three degrees here. And I know in some places that's probably not real cold, but in Queensland it's cold. Well, it'll get colder. We've got the fire going inside. It's seven o'clock. It's Saturday. I'm going down to uh, grease the tractor up and do a bit of slashing. I want to get it done earlier. Do it while the grass is a bit damp. Doesn't kick so much dust and rubbish all over you, you know? So we'll go down here and grease the tractor up and um, get it. Uh, it's beautiful this morning. Air feels so clean when it's cold like this. Have a quick pan around. There's no frost yet, but it's heavy dew, which is good. Nice and quiet. This is me walk down to me bottom shed from the house. It takes about five minutes. I like it. I walk down here more than I would bring the quad bike or the ute down. I only sort of do that if I have to bring something, carry something down, I'll bring it down in the ute or whatever. But if I'm just going to do some work on the tractor or some work on in the shed on something and I don't have to carry anything down I'll normally walk down and walk back up just because it's nice all right we'll get down there and get this tractor grease done I should have filmed the starting up the tractor she fired up straight away but she was uh, a bit funny for about three or four seconds and then she boom away she went but they don't like the cold. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a quick grease and I'm also got to take the cap off the gearbox on the slasher and just make sure it's not chewing through any oil. It hasn't been, but I've been using it a bit. I'll show you what I've already done down there. Hacking through this love grass is horrible, even on it. I thought it would be a bit easier on a tractor with this much horsepower, but it's still, it's hard work. It's that thick. I'll show you what I mean when we get down, it's all the way down the front side of the property, but we'll, um, we'll get this thing greased up. Greased everything up. We'll just um, quickly check the oil in the gearbox. Uh, hopefully, it's good. I actually rebuilt this gearbox <sighs> myself. It's a um, very basic powered gearbox. Heavy duty parts inside, heavy bearings. So I'm not even real worried that they're, they're pretty well bulletproof, these things. Wow, hasn't used a drop. Which is good because it means that the seal underneath isn't leaking. Um, and I've been giving it a hard time too. That's awesome. We're ready finally to go. It took way longer to do all this than I thought. Done. Going down the 
front the halfway there. This is the third gate to get down here, but that's the last one that I've got to close, so. They're all booked in to go next month. And they're good now, that's the worst part, is you get them good, and then they gotta go. This is where we often see a lot of koalas in these trees here, but to be honest, I haven't seen any for a while, but they, they, this is where they were normally hanging around for a long time. None there any this morning. Here's what we're doing. This is the stuff the cattle have left behind. I hope you can hear me. And um, yeah, so I'm knocking it over. Um, a lot of this stuff's love grass, which is terrible stuff. Cattle will eat it, but they, they prefer anything else over it pretty well. And a lot of just dried off old feed that I didn't get to slash down last year because I didn't have a tractor. So I'm going to have to do this twice because it's that thick in places. It's, it's just working the tractor too hard. I want to have this thing for a long time, so... I'm sort of knocking it back to that, and then if I have to, here we go, we're in the love grass now, listen to that. starting to get warmer I could take this this vest off now but um yeah there's a few hours of slashing there knocking over as much of this horrible love grass my neighbor thinks it's all right but um I find that the cattle will eat it but they're not they're not that fussed on it and nothing else once it gets balled up into a big ball it Nothing else can come through around it. It blocks everything else out and starts taking over, and that's what's happened in a lot of patches in here. It um, hasn't been grazed properly, this paddock, and um, that's why all that the bad stuff's just taken over. But I'll give you a look at what we've done anyway. We've still got a fair bit to go. This is just one paddock. All the way up there. That's about where the dam is. The fence is just on the other side of that dam. So we've, um, yeah, I can't slash it right down. That slasher slashes very, very low to the ground. And it's, um, 
I can't slash it right down. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to leave it for a little while because we're in winter now. So I can't imagine too much of this grunt. It's only going to die off more. And um, then I'm going to come back over and slash it all again before spring. And hopefully we get some spring rain and some of the better stuff will come through. And this stuff here will go down and break down as mulch. Because the frost and stuff will come through soon. And they're just ripping chunks of it and stuff out of the ground. And uh, let's do what heaps to do. This is it here. It's like horrible stuff. And I don't think it's... Uh, um, no problems cutting it. But there's just that much of it underneath the slasher that it's just it's binding up the blade. And, um, yeah, that's it there. That's how it boils up. Nothing else can get through, see? In the better grass here, you can see the cattle have been eating it. Hopefully, if I keep on top of it, now that I've got a decent tractor, we can um, get some more of this better grass growing through. You can see patches of it there. Better stuff over there. Here. It's a bit brown at the moment because we're in winter, so. Anyway, we'll get there. Keep chipping away. Okay, it's Saturday afternoon. And um, I've just got one of my burn off piles here. Smoldering down. And um, I went and put a beef stew together. Got some Osso Buco. Okay. Oh, you can't see it. I had it sitting on the top, but I sat it in the back of the ute here and drove down, and it must have rattled down into the pot. So I'll give you all you can see is vegetables, but I'll let you have a look anyway. But um, yeah, we'll throw that on, give it about two hours, maybe a little bit longer. And um, yeah, we're down the front of our property. And like there's behind that big tree line here, there's a there's a bitumen road that runs through there. So um and there's actually there's a house over there. That's where you can hear sheep. But um <laughs> that sounds so strange to me. There it is. We'll get it on the fire. Beautiful coals in the lid. See? Must be a jet. You hear that? I'll get this on anyway. There it is. And you can hear a car going past. <laughs> it's, um... Yeah, I pulled it away from the fire. I've got two shovels of coals underneath. And I've got one on the top at the moment, but I might put a bit more on, we'll see. Let that just roll along. This is burning down nice. Got a couple more. There's another one. There's another one over there. And there's another one. It's a bigger one. Through there, I don't know if you can see it. So they'll be camp ovens as well. I just Said the Jade, while we burn them off, we might as well heat up some food in them. So we just, every time I burn off one of my timber, all this here was lantana and timber on the ground. You couldn't see through here. This was just all balls of lantana and we're all old branches and everything. There was just timber I come down here with it. It was like, yeah, months of work. Months and months of just cutting up timber and clearing it all out. And the cows have eaten it down to nothing. But it actually is good grass here. There's no love grass up this end of the paddock for some reason. It's good. Yeah, it came back good. When it grows, this it's beautiful grass. But I've had the cattle in here for a bit over two weeks. And they've, they've eaten it pretty well down. And we're coming into winter, so it's slowed right down. But they're up in the next paddock now. So hopefully some of this will come back a little bit. It's been on there for about an hour and a half. I don't think we're quite there yet. The bones are falling out of the meat, but it's still, yeah, we can get it a bit more tender than that. We'll give her another half an hour and 
chuck some fresh coals underneath it and see how she goes. That's it. Beef stew. Smells good. We just pulled the bones out. Some of the marrow come out of them, some of them didn't. There's another link in, there's another video there where I actually did just on doing this, so yeah, I sprayed it up the back of the wall, but all good. We're gonna dig in. Sunday morning. It's four degrees. We bred those, those little black ones. It's three heifers and a little, well, he was a little bull, but we put a band on him, so he's gonna be a steer. They're still on their mums. They haven't weaned them yet. Going down to get on the tractor and do some more slashing. I'll go, we walk down the shed, but we'll go a different way. and. Past their little dam up here on the side of the hill. Seen dog tracks down here too, so you never know. A little bit of frost here. I didn't think it'd come up this high this soon. We're pretty high up here. There's the dam I was talking about. We've got a fair bit of feed in this paddock. I've been sort of saving it because I've found in previous years that the it takes a bit more usually for the frost to get up on top of these hills and this little dam was bright green a few months ago. Now it's all good again. Of grass up here. The legs are going to get all wet. That's all right. And there's me shed down there. So I'm just down here at the shed and I don't know, you know, there's a dog barking way off like that. That house is probably from where I'm standing. Oh, at least a K away. But I'm, I'm guessing there's been a dog here in the last sort of half an hour or so. And the reason why is I haven't seen a single wallaby or a roo. And normally walking down here, I'd see at least a dozen. So they always split when the dogs are around, so I have not seen one. And um, yeah, you'd normally see them sort of just poking around, you know. Uh, it's hard in this country because the grass is so high and they've just, like they've only got to go a few metres and they're in the cover. Like, <clears throat> anyway, we'll have to get something done about that.
blowing a gale down here, so I hope you can hear me all right. But uh, I've been on the slasher all morning. I don't even know what time it is. I didn't even think to look just then when I turned my phone on, but we're slowly chipping through it. I put a heap of injector cleaner through the old tractor and um, it's sort of a couple of times just then like she's she's hesitating and all of a sudden it picks up and, and goes good again and then look at that that's a flat tire um so I'm, I'm, i'll change the filters on it next week I'd, I'm, I'd say they'd be full of rubbish um that's all it'll be because when it's running it's running fine but it's just it's bu -bu 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 the way she goes again but yeah we're war on this love grass so the idea is to knock it over so i can um let some of the better grass come through and um it's just it's that thick 80 horsepower tractor and it'll it bogs the motor down on it it hasn't got a turbo on it that one but in patches some patches are just so thick but i'll spin you around and show you what i've done and, and what we've got to go and oh well they've done heaps over the other side you're not going to be able to see any of that paddock's too big but We'll um, have a quick look. So this is the stuff, and it, it gets way thicker. Yeah. Slashed all this. We've got to go in here. And the idea is to knock it over so that I can the better stuff that's it's drowning out can come through, you know? Like you can see here, you see how it balls up like that? I was showing you yesterday, but nothing else can get through. This is what we want, that's what they're eating. So they've been in here for a couple of weeks. I've got a gate open at the other end of the paddock and I've got a gate open down there and they won't come back in here. Because they've, they've eaten what they want. So this is what they've left behind. This is what I've got to knock over. And you see where they've been through here. And they're knocking that right down because they don't want to touch this stuff. But anyway, we'll get there. It's all everywhere. Well, that's probably going to do this video. It's freezing cold today and the wind's blowing. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.